hourly chart, dollar index, high, low, high. We went down below this low here. This may be trading into the breaker. It's also an imbalance and bearish order block. So if it's going to go lower, okay, let's assume for a moment it's going to attack the liquidity below here. I'm not suggesting that it is, but if it were to react at mean threshold of that last up close candle here, after filling in the imbalance and trading below the low here of a bearish breaker, this would have to deliver a sell-off. Like it would have to do it now if it's bearish. If it ignores the bearish order block and ignores the rebounds up into the city here, the optimal trade entry and the bearish breaker, if it rallies from here, then I'm going to feel more confident that this was just a run on liquidity taking out this low. And then we can go back to resuming a run above this high and then into that 95 big figure. 15 minute time frame, dollar index. Small little Judas swing overnight. Rejection block here. Then aggressive sell off. Nice little optimal trade entry order block here. Rallies up New York session to a city. Now again, this would have been better for it to rebound to that point and then go down right from there, not do all this consolidation, which is why I'm electing to be neutral right now. Not, and I don't have an opinion that's going to say, I think it's going to go here, I think it's going to go there. I don't know. On the near term, if we don't go lower, we have relative equal highs in here. So watch, you might see a little pop up into that overnight. Any sustained run, obviously, puts us back in contention for this high. Euro dollar daily chart. Okay, we went a little bit higher into a rejection block here.